there's very few who live for actual life scrapping and fucking fighting. <laughs> That's the side of fighting I love. Like, I love the side of someone, like, cracking me in my face so I can feel my jaw where I can't close it. It is someone back and just seeing that look in their eyes. Like, loads of new guys came down the gym on Tuesday and I just, I just love just hitting people and just seeing the act. That's what, that's like what fires and gears me up. Yeah. And I don't show no mercy. And there's very few people who are, like, my strength and conditioning coach Johnny who trains me. And I'll be like, how's I, I uh, you know, how's Tasha getting on, how's Beefy getting on? And, and every time I ask about Beefy, he's like, I oh, just fucking sparring every day and he's just trying to fucking kill people. And, like, I just think, that's, fucking, that's, that's what I fucking love, do you know what I mean? Like, if, if I come into the gym every day and Connor said to me, we're sparring, he knows that's what I want to do. Yeah. I don't fucking like the other shit. I don't like running. I don't like training. I, I like sparring. I like fucking hurting and, and being hurt. This is one thing as well. There's a lot of people who, who spar. And, and they love smacking people when they don't like taking smacks. I like taking a smack. I genuinely thrive on taking smacks to the face and like stuff like that. Yeah. People know the injuries I train through and stuff. I, I, I thrive through that. I thrive now through my neck having that trap nerve, like still getting pounced off in the head up for it, you know what I mean? Fighting through the pain, but yeah. Look at my face, lad. My eyes are all cut up, my nose is cut, my lips cut. Do you think I give one single fuck? Someone go and find me that fuck that I give about. <laughs> I give no fucks, mate. Which ones? Which ones? Oh, they're, they're, in, they're in my phone, Do you want them back? Yeah, get them. I will, yeah. It's my tie boxing days, them lad. That's me talking to that in Brazil, that's Scarlet. Scarlet is a bell and tail. It's, it's me and Fury. Fury come to do training with me. Me and Steven Gerrard. That's me, Nick Pete, Adam Catterall for BT, them two, and Tony Bellew. That's my next opponent, Eric Brunson. That's former champion Whitaker, Steven Thompson, Liverpool. I made the fight the cover of fighters. I'm the only ever fighter ever out of belt to make the cover. And I'll make the cover again when I get my belt. That was against Yesen Ayari, unbeaten German. Masvidal, Gaslam, Woodley, Dalby. I made debut in Brazil. That was Rotterdam, Cowboy. That's me and the boss, Dana. That's me, Fight Camp in Vegas. That's me, Colin, Grundy. Alexander Capitão, Eric De Silva, uh, what's his name? Forgot his name. Bill, uh, forgot Terry, Raf, Bob, Carl, Team Carbon, Darren Till, Colin Aaron, Mark Scanlon, Michael Evans, Michael Grundy, Paul Sass, Terry Atom, Paul Kelly, Bugsy, and Carl. Uh, this is where I was a Muay Thai fighter. Uh, see if I can remember them as well. That one's from Brazil actually when I fought MMA. That one was from GFC show when I fought Mark Skier. That was a Fortitudo show. That one, they were all into club trophies, so they weren't really. That was when I won the best football at the South Sefton Community Games. I used to play football. That was when you won everything in yeah. the Sefton Games. Yeah. And then that was Brazil. That was that show. For this, this is how much I remember, it was against a lad called Aiden. what was his name, Aiden Green, what his name might have been, and I fought him in Leeds Stadium, what's the stadium called in Leeds? Elm Road. Yeah, it might have been Elm Road, I fought him there, beat him. Uh, that trophy was when I fought John O'McKay, I think his name was, in Scotland, my first ever professional fight when I was 15, uh, in the Green Bank in Scotland. See, do I remember? This one was from. It might have trumped me yet. This one was from. Betty. This one was from Ferry. <laughs> nice. Was from, was lad, you wouldn't think he was 106, would you? <laughs> this one was from Sorry. Betty when I fought on GFC in Ferry, yeah. yeah this has been my bedroom all my life. All my life, this has been my bedroom. Same pictures. I don't know why you've got the same pictures in here, though. Where? 
In the room, they're all the same pitches. How do you mean all the same? In ISK English champion Muay Thai, ISK British champion Muay Thai, Brazil champion MMA. Hey, the Brazil one. Heavy, yeah. yeah. Is that anyway? I'm gonna show you now. About six months worth mm. You know what I bought, yeah. Here's. You're gonna cry. If people kept parking in my spot in the gym, you, you will clamp. be getting clamps. How is that a clamp? It's it? a clamp. So don't park on me spots. <laughs> 36 quid off eBay. What are you doing with it? I'm just gonna wait till someone parks in me spot. Well, it's still good here, is it? Somebody's uh, back to the back. Back. What are you gonna do? Come back here and get the clamp. No, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> just wait, saving it for a rainy day, innit? Yeah. Isn't it? Have I still got all of my stuff in my wardrobe, granddad? No, that's all. You took it? Well, right, yeah. I gave you them now, didn't I? Yeah. For them waffles. Can I take them back? They're beasts. No, can you show it? No, I'll give you another pair. I've got another pair for you. Yeah, can on, I take yeah. them? Yeah. God, is right. Look, they give me granddad all the UFC stuff. Nice. Oh, they're belters, them one granddad. Yeah. Have I got nothing left for you, no? No. Nothing at all. Nothing. That's just a lot of stuff. Yeah, this has been me doing my whole life. Nice. My whole life. I've had it, haven't I? Why have you took all my stuff out of here? You took it? No, I had Did some stuff left. I had loads of clothes well, left. He hasn't been anything in there for two months. It's what two happens, years, lad, isn't it? It's what happens when you fucking... Honest to God, mate. Come on, then. When you're gonna fucking say that, make sure you've got your gun right there and then. Because I can choke you on straight away.